I have been running my own social media marketing agency for around 18 months. It's been a challenge. The first year I was in school while having an agency. The last half year or the last six months, I've been running it full time. And I want to give you the best possible knowledge that I've learned after running my agency and what I've basically achieved so far because it is quite impressive how fast you can scale an agency going from having absolutely no knowledge to actually scale it to six figures by just doing the work. So when I started out, it was quite hard for me because there was a lot of people in Denmark doing exactly the same. I started in my local area and I wanted to achieve freedom. I basically wanted to have a lot of money. I wanted to basically be able to travel. I was just chasing the money, which is also why I started. I can tell you that. I started because I saw other people making a lot of money and I thought if they can do it, I can do it. So I started reaching out to companies in my local area, got a bit of clients which were ass, and then basically just did what you're probably also doing. Just tried my way forward, didn't really learn anything, took another course, took a lot of courses, didn't really learn anything. I just found out that I needed to do essentially what you need to do, which is doing the work. So the first three months, it went quite well because I started reaching out. I got a lot of clients. And then after three months, I basically lost a lot of them. And I started to look into the international market. I didn't really like the Danish environment. I didn't like the Danish mentality. And I started to say, fuck Denmark, basically. So I started to pick a niche, which were e-commerce for me. And it's kind of cliche because everybody's picking e-commerce as a niche. And I know there's people going to say, oh, e-commerce is not a niche. Well, for me, e-commerce was the niche and I basically saw it as the niche because so many other successful people, both in Denmark, but also internationally, basically liked the whole e-commerce space. Everybody was speaking so highly about it. You could get great performance. You could close a ton of clients and I just found it very attractive. So I decided to do that. And I decided to do what I basically were told not to do. So instead of doing all these personalized messages, I just started to do the numbers. I started to do basically a robot way of outreaching because I just thought if I can do more outreach than everybody else, eventually I will get clients. And I was right. Two months went by, I didn't really close any clients and then suddenly, boom, I ran into basically a whale. And what I mean by whale is basically a 5k client. I closed a very, very big client from Norway, a client I still have today. And at that time, it was a game changer because I had some small clients here and there. Maybe I was making around like five to 7K. And then I closed this 5K client, which essentially made me make around like 15K. So I went into the new year. I had this big client that I was handling a good amount of spend. I was generating great results. And I just started to go with the momentum. I had a bit of clients. I was making around 15K going into January. And I just thought, let me just do more. Let me do more outreach in order to get more clients. And so that's what I did. I decided to scale up my outreach. I decided to do more numbers. I decided to find a way to be able to basically reach out to more companies. And eventually it allowed me to close 12 clients in the first quarter of 2022, which allowed me to basically scale from 15K to around 30K, actually 25, 30K in revenue, which essentially if you know what that is, it's basically a lot of money, right? So it allowed me to scale quite a lot. That means I did not really hit those 25, 30K. And the reason why was because I basically lost a bit, bunch of clients. I basically, I was just onboarding all clients I could get my hands on because I thought the more clients, the better. Didn't really care if I could deliver results or not. I was still in that newbie kind of stage. I didn't really understand how to onboard clients. I didn't really understand which clients were actually good clients. And I was just onboarding everything. So at that time I was making consistently 15 to 20K, couldn't really get past that 20K mark. And then I basically had a whole half a year, six months where I didn't close any clients. I was just consistently making the same. I was having school, almost done with school. And my parents told me that I needed to focus on that. So I focused on that, I focused on the whole school system. And it basically allowed me to not really scale. I just maintained the whole thing and then summer comes by, get done with school, and then I go into doing it full time. So what is my experience? My experience from running my own marketing agency while being in school is that if you want to scale it a lot, you need to have some systems that allows you to not really put focus on the agency. What I mean by that is I did all the outreach myself, did all the service delivery myself. I did everything myself. Looking back at it, I could have scaled a lot if I just invested in people. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means if I had allowed myself to invest in 
some things that could allow me not to spend time on the business, I would be able to scale the business while being in school. My biggest problem when I was in school was that I could not work as much on the business because I also had other things to attend to. And that's not an excuse, that's just reality for me. So if you want to scale a social media marketing agency while you're in school, you need to invest in things that can allow you to not focus so much on the business. And this is also what I learned while I was basically full time, because the moment I started scaling a lot was when I started to work on the business instead of in the business. And if there's one thing you need to take with you from this video, it is that working in the business is really, really bad if you want to scale past like 25K. Because if you're still working in the business, you are still the guy doing all the things, you will not have time to scale the business and work on the business. So what I started doing when I just got full time is that I started to look at my margins as a way to actually scale it. So instead of looking at my revenue as I need as much profit as possible, I started to see my revenue as something I could use to get more revenue. So I allowed myself to go down to even 25% margins, which allowed me to invest in people, systems. It allowed me to optimize my whole business. And it just allowed me to put my business in a better place. What I did here is that I changed my business from being a hobby business to being a wealthy and quite healthy business because now we had systems that allowed us to book more meetings than ever before. I had people that did the service for me. It allowed me to focus essentially on the business. So instead of being in the business, it allowed me to focus on the business. It allowed me to do what I'm doing right now, filming valuable tips for my personal brand. It allowed me to focus way more on building the business as a whole having systems that allows us to scale every single month with predictability. And it allowed me to essentially be more free. So as I said, I started in SMMA because I wanted the money. I wanted the freedom. I wanted to be able to make money while not being stressed. That I have achieved now. I have a system. I have people that allows me to scale my agency without working more on the agency. Now I can basically scale my agency. And the only thing I have is attend calls. So every time I have a new meeting, I just need to attend it. And that I'm even looking to outsource, which allows me to focus on other things, such as starting a web shop, which I have done, starting an online course, which I eventually have done, working on different programs to help more people achieve their dream life, which is what I'm doing right now, working on things that allows me to put myself in a place where I can focus on the real funny things, because running an agency is not fun. And if you're watching this video and you're thinking about starting an agency, you need to realize that starting an agency is not fun. 90% of the work you're going to do is ass and is so boring, but you need to do it. And the good thing about starting an agency is the cash flow. And if you've watched other videos such as Iman Gatsi or other people in this niche, what you basically need to understand is that going into a recession, cash flow is what you need. So that way, SMMA is really a great business model for you to start. Overall, to sum up this video, I know it's been all over the place and I'm sorry, but to sum up my experience from running a social media marketing agency for 18 months, it has been good because it has allowed me to get what I essentially wanted to get, which is money and freedom. It has allowed me to have a business that I know can be reliable in terms of cash flow for the next three to five years. It has allowed me to basically get money that I can invest in other assets to allow myself to build up my wealth. So my experience from running a social media marketing agency for 18 months has been absolutely great. I would recommend everybody to try running an SMMA because quite frankly, there's never been a bigger demand and there's never been more monkeys in the niche, which allows you to stand out from the crowd, which I've also made another video about. In my opinion, the best business model to start when you're just like 16 to 18 years old, because you do not really need that much experience and you can close a lot of clients that allows you to get that cash flow that can allow you to actually invest in other things that can be game changing. My experience overall has been good. Let me know down in the comments what your experience have been. And also remember to drop me a like and subscribe. If you want to hear more from me, then as I said in my other video, I'm currently making an email flow where I'm sending out three emails every single week in 2023. So you can be with me on the journey towards scaling my agencies and my other business models in order for me to achieve financial freedom. If you want to be with me along the journey, 
then make sure that you press the link down below to sign up for the emails. And also feel free to join my Discord where we are stacking up, where we are trying to provide as much value as possible in terms of SMMA and other aspects of business. So feel free to join that as well. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I just want to give out as much value as possible. I do not really care if you press down the links below. That's totally up to you. Hopefully you can scale your SMMA either way and hopefully you will achieve your dream life. That is in the end what I hope that you will achieve and hopefully my tips can help you do that. So thank you so much for your time. I hope you got some value and I'll see you in the next video.